Well, good afternoon. I know that many of us are uh, on your lunch break, so we'll uh, offer you just a few words of uh, reflection, and then we'll move to the distribution of ashes. Uh, my sister uh, Priscilla was in town for Mardi Gras. She came in with her daughter on Ella's, her daughter, 16th birthday. And so for her 16th birthday, they spent the weekend in New Orleans at the parades. And it was an awesome experience for her. Uh, they invited me to go to the parades, but I knew that um, if I went to the parades with my niece, Ella, and she had to choose between talking to her uncle versus looking at all of the floats, I knew where I ranked in that comparison right there. So instead of going to the parades with them, I, I actually made a date and I said, let's go to breakfast. And um, we went to breakfast and it was a great conversation. Let me tell you why I did that. Whenever my family gets together, I never get together with my family. Whenever my family gets together, we spend all of our time cooking and going to the grocery store and all the other things, and I never get to spend time with my siblings. So what happens is when I'm on vacation with my family, all of our, my experiences is, is these conversations which are halfway finished, and we're so busy doing other things that we're too busy to be with each other. And so I've made it a point that whenever I'm with them, to, to make some dates, to, to carve out some time. Because what I have found is that if I'm not intentional about spending time with my family, I'm not going to spend time with my family. Amen? The vacation will come and go. Same is true in our relationship with God. If we're not intentional about making sure that we are intentional, then oftentimes things like Lent will come and go and our lives are no more changed on Easter Sunday than they were on Mardi Gras Tuesday. And so my invitation to you is that this Lent might look different than Lent's in the past. There's a saying in AA that says, if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you always got. And whatever you've done in the past for Lent doesn't mean that you have to do it this year. And my encouragement to you is before you race into tomorrow, Take some time today and ask yourself a couple things. And so I want to walk you through the bulletin, and then we're going to give out the ashes. Okay, so everybody go with me to, to page two in the bulletin. If you want to join with me in the bulletin, which is actually a special lit version, go with me to page two. It's right on the back cover or the front cover. Page two. You'll notice that uh, this uh, Lent at Christ Redeemer, Father Bryce and I, are going to be talking about that word intentional. And we're going to unpack five ways that you can do some simple things in your spiritual life to be more intentional about being with God. You'll see this Sunday, we're going to talk about how is it that we can be intentional when we face temptation. Because we all face temptation. The temptations that you face are different than the ones you used to face. And your temptations may be different than the person on the side of you. But we all face temptation. If we're not intentional, then we're not going to succeed. And most of us fail in temptation, and that's what kind of discourages us. We're going to teach you some simple things that you can do to take some steps when you face temptation. So every Sunday during Lent, you, you can see we're going, to, we're going to do a lot of like teaching about some simple things. It's going to be a super practical Lent. I'm really excited about it. If you're interested in that or you know someone who's interested... Bring them with you to Mass, and let's walk through Lent together. Amen? All right, the next thing is, if you go with me to page 6. Page 6, I want to walk you through just a few words of encouragement. I love the fact that you're here today, and I really want to say thank you for being here. It's been awesome to see so many of us with us today. The number one thing that made a dramatic impact in my spiritual life was daily Mass. If you want to know all of the daily Mass times in Thibodeau, boom, they're right there on page 6. All the times that uh, the Stations of the Cross are in Thibodeau, it's right there. It's all listed for you just to make it real easy for you. So if you're looking for daily Mass, you can go there. But there's also some suggestions of what you might do this Lent to make things different on the bottom of page 6. So you can go to daily Mass or daily prayer, learn how to pray, confession, uh, start small, or our podcast series. So, like, if you give up Diet Coke for Lent... Coke ain't going to change your life. Amen? 
All right, so if you gave up chocolate last year for Lent, guess what? All the weight you lost during Lent, you put on on Easter Sunday when you devoured that bag of chocolate candy, right? So let's all be honest about that, right? So eat your chocolate and do something that's going to make an impact in your spiritual life. Those six things, take this home with you. Think about doing something more proactive this Lent so that you can actually grow in your spiritual life. Amen? I want to highlight number six. If you'd like a special audio message delivered to your phone or your email every day from now to Easter Sunday, we're ready to do it. We have a new podcast series called Intentional. It started today. You can sign up by going to our website. It has probably been the most popular thing that we did from Christmas to uh, Ash Wednesday, so much so that we're, we're, we're starting another one just to serve you. If any of that helps you, then hopefully this Lent can be an awesome Lent for you. Amen?